Thank you to Game Work Create for being a channel partner. Looking for a Kickstarter game you missed or 3D printed minis? Game Work Create has a huge selection available, all at a fair price. Use the link in the description below to check out all that Game Work Create has to offer. What's up, Rockstars? Today I have another unboxing for you. I think I know what minis these are, but obviously you do because you saw it on the thumbnail, but I'm about to find out, so let's go ahead and find out. Now, as always, while I unbox this, I want to quickly thank my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that I'm able to stay independent of the game industry. And that brings me a lot of freedom on my coverage, on what I talk about, and of course, on sharing my opinions honestly, without worrying about the wording or whether or not I'm burning any bridges or anything like that. So if you appreciate the kind of honest game coverage and appreciate the fact that I take no money from any game developer ever, well, you can go ahead and... Uh, find the link to my Patreon or YouTube membership button down in the description below. Thank you so much. But if not, that's fine too. I get it. Totally get it. Just a like on the video or even a comment saying, hey, this was helpful. Uh, helps me out a ton to know that what I'm doing is in fact helpful and uh, helping you guys out. At the end of the day, these videos are for you. That's kind of the point. They're for you, not the game developer. So uh, with that, like, what am I cutting through? It's like freaking molasses. What the heck? Come on. Just, just open up. All right, Let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got here. I will do a top down view. We'll see everything in just a moment. Lots of stuff here. Oh, look at this. Some fancy boxes. So we got, aha, Storm Sunder. Now I know how to, I know how to open these. You can't hide it from me. We'll see what these guys are and then we'll go top down. How about that one? It looks like I got four of them. Looks like it. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Nicely packaged, well done. Nice and professional. All right, so first it's sleeved, which is the hardest part actually, because then it's just magnetic, then it's easy. I know how magnets work. It's just a matter of pushing this out and keeping the sleeve here. Oh, oh guys, guys, I might actually get one. <laughs> Oh yeah, you guys know it. Now, now, look at that, look at that. Okay, so we all, we'll just wear our games and long pack games, so they are now definitely announcing that they're using long pack. I've known for a while, but not something I wanna necessarily mention unless they're willing to, because sometimes, and I can understand it's manufacturing, being like, I'll make your crap, but I don't wanna be blamed for it or associated with it. Proudly manufactured by long pack games, your number one choice for professional board game manufacturing. So they're definitely, going full throttle there um last time this had oh okay so this is a nice advertisement but last time they had really cool art and pictures so i was hoping to show you who's in it because i don't want to actually see the minis in me anymore and you know what if they're all like that let's go to the drop down or the top down view now so let's uh go ahead and get started on this all right guys we're at the top down version of the video and i went ahead and unsleeved all these because <laughs> it takes longer than you think it's a very very tight fit this one in particular <laughs> it wasn't so good but that's all right. Let's go ahead and pop these open. All right. Now, here, as you can see, they got this. I think I already showed this, so we're gonna move on from there. But, 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 this looks like it's got some people in it. Oh man, can I get it out? It's a very tight fit, too. All right, looks like we got a few here. Oh, exciting, okay. I love this art, by the way. Really, really do. Really, really do. I love kind of deeper reds anyway, so this is great. So here's, so we're gonna have Alexander. Um, they changed the sculpt since I last looked at him, I believe. And so I'll be interested to see that. Every time I look at these minis, by the way, they're they're different, they're updated, they're new, they're better. Um, and then we got Vanessa, which would be awesome. And then we also have Jaden, who has a very cool story arc. So excited to see all of this. I like how he actually has some yellow above as well, whereas these two do not, which kind of interesting. I'm not gonna comment any more on that. <laughs> all right, let's see what we got here. And next time I have a cold, I'm all set. So I'm excited for all the Kleenex too. Really excited. All right, wow, we gotta zoom in on this. All right, this guy is super cool. This is one of the like 
generic enemies that you fight. Uh, these guys are jerks because what they'll do is they'll go just within range and then throw these at you. Um, and they, they, they interact with their brethren pretty well also. But looking at just how this ended up, like it's really, really good. A slight bend there, but easily fixed. Um, and I, I would actually rather fix this with hot water and make it perfect than have them make this overly thicker than it needs to be. So it's a little bit there. And of course it's stored differently in this too than how, how we'll get it. So there's, there's a lot of kind of leeway there. Um, looking again, just as close as I can here, um, the texture on the sand is very faint. Um, it's, it's more of a stylized sand than like some actual texture. You can hear it there. Maybe. So you can hear the sand there. Um, and maybe it'll show up more once it's not, you know, shiny gray, of course, also. But man, oh man, uh, they look great. The detail level is awesome. How these are all separate and there's not like a big like web here or here, which is where I would kind of worry about stuff is kind of right in between where all that stuff is. Looks great. All of these look nice and separated as well. All the binding looks good. The amount of crisp detail on this fantastic uh, there's just no if ands or buts there it looks really really good and the attention to detail is nice too the fact that inside is sculpted because you're gonna maybe see that even inside of this has a little bit of a sculpt so it's not that kind of flat part the only flat part is his booty right there and if you're flipping the miniature over to look at his booty then um you're just going to be disappointed it's very flat i guess but <laughs> no this looks great i love it okay cool glad to see him like that i really am that's just, I mean, that's just going to set the pace, I think, for everything here. Now here's Alexander, one of my favorite characters. Uh, he's he's very, very funny. Um, him and his twin sister are quite the pair. <laughs> Again, the sculpt uh, design looks great. The bases are fantastic. The uh, little lines where the, uh, the, the channels of plastic go into the mold are very minimal. And in, in, in like nice places like down here, which is actually perfect. Now, I guess maybe you could improve it a little bit by facing it backwards, but there's a lot more involved than when it comes to determining that. Again, a little bit of a bend here, but again, these are wrapped in tissue paper. So, <laughs> you know, they're shipped a bit different. So I can't, I can't claim, you know, anything about that. It looks like a good thickness though. You don't want too thick or you get like banana blades, right? Where they just look super fat and ridiculous, but you don't want to get too skinny too. Um, with the crispness of the detail, by the way, I'm assuming this is a PVC ABS mix. I would also explain a little bit of the slight shininess it has. ABS is quite shiny typically, and most PVC you get tends to be fairly matte, but you know, both are just bucket terms for lots of different kinds of plastic, but just the detail, look at the detail level here. I mean, look, he's got a face, he's got cheekbones and eyebrows and, you know, a little crease where his chin is. Just fantastic stuff. Really, really nice. He looks great. Looks awesome. Dig it. Okay, a bigger miniature here. Ah, yes. The uh, Ross Warren. These guys, as you can see, big and bad. Did they increase? Did you guys increase the size of this? I don't recall them being this big. I think they've made these guys bigger. Or this is a different version. Perhaps this is... Yeah, see, I don't remember the skulls or anything down here, too. This might be a different version. I don't know. Either way, he's freaking awesome. Love the big old feet. Love the skulls. The cracked skull here looks fantastic. Love that. Um, one thing I've always wanted to do next time I use skulls on a base is actually get my knife and start damaging them. Start putting nicks in and stuff like that and scratches like right here. But to have it just here automatically is fantastic. And again, you can see... There's not really, like, I'm looking for, like, this, this texture seems a little bit stronger. Um, I'm looking for mold lines. I'm looking for, I guess, anything to complain about. <laughs> this looks great. It really does. The, uh, the detail level is fantastic. Really good. Look at the teeth here. See how the teeth showed up here? Again, very, very well done. Same with the bottom jaw. A little bit fainter. That's all right. Not quite as crispy as you see the ear here versus the ear here. A slight difference in crispness. This one's a little fuzzy compared to this one. This one's got very strong lines. Both are pretty good though. 
you guys know I can nitpick. Here's, you can see kind of the, like the suggestion of a mold line. <laughs> uh, here's another kind of poor spout right there. You can see underneath the arm, a great place for it. I support that. Here is a mold line here. So you can kind of see, I mean, <laughs> they're not, they're not like miniature wizards, but they, they definitely put a lot of money into this. For the most part, when you're getting miniatures or when you're making miniatures, I should say, you get what you pay for. I mean, uh, the, for, by and large, here's a little bit more of the mold line here. By and large, what I mean by that is um, the quality of the plastic, the amount of skill involved with the people making the steel molds in China, the iterations and tooling that you put into that, all of that costs money. But the more you pay, the better your minis are. So you can use the same manufacturer, but if you're not paying for, you know, uh, God knows how many revisions they've had on these now, um, the back and forth and constant change of, of stuff like that, um, then you, you know, <laughs> you get, again, you get what you pay for. Um, okay, this looks good. I always commented about the connection between the leg and um, the uh, the row because sometimes if it, if the leg doesn't start to turn, then it looks like it's like fanning out of the leg in a weird way. But you see how it starts to turn there, and that little bit of a turn separates the two things. Same with here. So this doesn't look like a fan out of her out of her leg because the leg starts to turn in like it. And then by the time you would normally see it like there, where it looks like it's coming out of the leg because it is, you know, like this is a very weird pose. You wouldn't look at it this way, right? Looking at it this way, it looks separate and that's great. Same with here. Just that little bit of, of edgedness there is fantastic. The fact that this little divot here is not filled in again, great, really, really good stuff. There's a little bit of a, a mold line right here on the flat part of the head. You can kind of see that there. Um, yeah, just look in. So this is a separate, this is glued on here. The assembly is all right. There's a little bit of a piece coming out there, as you can see. And then a little bit of separation here. Then being said, the separation is totally, with the, when you get a nice plate of like metal like that, a separation can be chalked up to that pretty easily. Um, so it's mostly just right there. But again, for mass assembly, even this would be totally fine. And this isn't even that. So yeah, nope, looking good. Love the texture on the pants, the inlay work. And these take a long time to paint because there's so much detail, but they certainly look pretty darn good. More than pretty darn good. I mean, these, these look great. Um, yeah, really like it. like that a lot. All right, let's see. We got... Oh, another big one. I was not expecting another big one. Ah, yes, of course. I shouldn't have expected. He was already listed here. Um, yeah, the wings look great. The inlay here looks great. I'm trying to look at some of the stuff they showed about iterating. Notice his sword is a little bit thicker. It's also a little bit longer. However, I'm fine with it being a little thicker because, first of all, it's got like freaking flames on it. But it's also a two-handed sword. It's a really big, big sword. Not not some rapier or anything like that. Uh, barefooted. Toes look nice. Tiny, tiny bit of a mold line here. That looks nice and separate. That's really good to see. Here's one of the parts where the inlay between here and here was a little soft. I see no issues with this. Uh, just putting a quick wash on this will just fill that in and make it look glorious. It'll look fantastic. Uh, stylized, kind of almost cartoonish uh, feathers, which is, you know, just their style. It's what they've been doing. This rope, oh, this rope is good. The frayed ends on the rope are a nice plus for me. I don't see that very often, um, maybe because you normally can't get the frayed parts there, right? People struggle with like arrow shafts, and this is even, I think, harder than that. Um, yeah, it looks great. And as you can hear, wonderful, wonderful sound to those. Uh, that's the texture being hit with this. Just the rope looks exquisite. Really, really well done. The scar on his chest. Nice and visible, so I like that. And again, full facial features. You can even see him kind of scowling. You see a little bit of his, his forehead being fussy there and whatnot. Just looks really, really good. I like this a lot. Looks great. Love it. Oh, and this isn't too thick either. A lot of times these will turn out to be really thick to fill it in. That looks just fine. So happy with that. All right, one box down. Let's go to the next one. Almost ready to unsleeve it again. This one, okay, long pack, good job. And we got 
Oh, this guy's awesome. I've shown you this guy before. Love the eyes here. Uh, Felheim. Looks great. Okay. Yep. Seen these Bushido dudes before. Looking good. Again, one of those things where you see the different layers and you see just how intricate this is with the, you know, going from cert certain things are kind of hard sometimes with details. Um, for instance, putting skulls into hair, very hard to do because um, the hair strands and the skulls, it just, be between the like angle changes and stuff like that, a softer plastic or somebody not as good at making a mold just can't do it too well. But this looks perfect with these straight lines right through the hoops uh, to where you can actually see them go in to the hoop. There is a little bit of overlay like right there, which is fantastic to see. Really, really good. The mold lines are so minimal. There's really not a lot of cleanup to do here, which I really appreciate. A bit of a mold line right there on the top, um, which I think will be fine, but you'll definitely want to, I think, fill that out just because it will be a little noticeable. Um, just because of like its placement right up there, right? If it had been like even at the end here, I think maybe you could have gotten away with it a bit more. But that's fine too. Seeing that this is a single skull, but look at the separation there. Look at that. Look how great that is. Really fantastic how deep that goes and then how separate this is. You know, I talk about that stargating that I mentioned. Notice you don't get this here. You know, when you like get melted into it, a lot of companies, some uh, will do that, but this one is looking good, nice and separate there. Um, again, very hard to keep this angle going straight back out the other way like that and not have it a little melty, so, but they did a good job here. Good job, close, but I think they did good. Especially right here, like see how they filled this in. And, uh, but I think they filled it in with detail, you know, so it's not like flat or anything like that. I think it works, but it maybe would have been a little bit better to not quite have that filled in, but it's all right. It is all right. This looks good. Texture here looks great. Uh, all the like scars and veins and stuff like that. Again, a little bit of a bent thing here. Can't judge too much about that. That being said, these are very sturdy as you can see. So I wouldn't worry about too many broken minis, which is fantastic. And again, the, it's like it's a circle, but it's not and I really appreciate that when it's a perfect circle It tends to act like a frame, right? So it looks like they were just like, you know Pulled out of something as opposed to just naturally in something All right, who do we got here uh, Very cool. Very cool. Love the weapon this guy has look at this So again a little bit maybe of some bendingness there probably needs to go like this quite like that. It's a little bent there. Seeing that is kind of a common thing, which kind of makes sense. Look how high this is, by the way. See how high this is going? I really appreciate that. Just just the, look, look at that base. Look at all that. Mini starts up here. I love it. I think that's awesome. Very cool bat detail here. Really, really like that. A lot of vampires. <laughs> the inlay work on the weapon is good. All these look nice and separate, so I appreciate that. Not too thick, because it kind of comes up to this point, which is nice, though then it fattens out here, but that's okay. Looking good. Love it. And again, when you sculpt the base, you can really make the mini more dynamic. Notice how he's like leaning up as he's moving up, like almost like it's a struggle to move up, and I'm wondering if his you know, wound here and him holding his chest has anything to do with that. His mouth is open, one eyebrow is raised up while the other one isn't. That's just, again, fantastic to see. Really, really is. Great job. Keep it going. Oh, so this one looked weird. <laughs> the, the the weapon, the, the like... <laughs> like, it actually works. Um, I would almost rather have the the sword down and then him like whipping it so it's like starting to straighten out as he whips it or or brings it down like that perhaps or something like that as opposed to uh at the side but it still works i'm still fine with it it's just it's just odd <laughs> um yeah sword looks good actually this looks fairly straight this one came out quite well the facial features look wonderful again all the different layers and stuff look good good look painting that <laughs> Uh, the cloak, not too thick. R about as thick as I'd like it, though. Certainly wouldn't want him too much thicker than that. Um, shield on the back looks good, too. The separation between this, like, ornamental stuff and the hair looks good. Same with the hair knot. 
that came out really well as well. And all these lines are super crisp, by the way. Just, you could dry brush that if you really wanted to. Looking good. There is a little bit of like lines here and it almost makes it seem three thick. Like this is really thick here, really thick there, but otherwise looks great. I don't know if you guys can know this or not, but I could complain about anything. <laughs> My wife would agree. Ah, here he is. I love this guy. This guy's so freaking sweet. I love the Norse stuff anyway, and this just screams like, you know, Norse to me. Like, I just love, look at the rings and the log. Look how awesome that is. And take a wash gloriously. Um, the little runes on the, around him like that. And just, it almost looks like he, the, I guess the only issue about this base is it does look very framed. Like, it looks like he, like, and it like went like this, <laughs> which maybe that's what happens when he steps. I don't know. Speaking of stepping, the separation between the feet and the base are fantastic here. Looks great. Looks really, really well done. Really well done. Like that a lot. Um, having see how it's flat here, you can barely tell though, because these overhang, and that's a very smart move to do. Uh, because that overhang, you can see a little bit of this though. It's kind of weird. Maybe get rid of that. But other than that, this overhang really helps um, do that. If there's just a little bit of a lip, just go up a tiny bit. You can make that flat. Nobody's going to see. Uh, it's it's when it's like straight flat like that that you'll start seeing it, right? Because it'll go to the other one. But just a little bit up, and now you don't see it. Rope looks good. Love that the clasps look nice here. Rope there, good. Inlay's good. Uh, the axe hole thing here, awesome. The inlay here, insane. I mean, absolutely. I mean, that is just, ooh, that's a good blade. The the kind of the edge to it looks fantastic as well. They did a great job with that. Uh, horns look good. If you recall the Bloodborne like antenna things, are kind of like these horns, and it was flash galore everywhere. There's like no flash here. You can tell there would be, but they did a good job making that to very minimalized. And it's back. Deer's horn look good as well. I love the mouth open with like the tongue hanging out. <laughs> Cracks me up. Uh, the chain here looks awesome as well. Very well built in. Same with the string on the medallions. Um, no fuzziness there. This is just, I mean, again, this is good stuff. This is some freaking sweet minis. If there's any game to buy just for the minis, I mean, my goodness. All right, again, a little bit of a bend here, but again, I like the thickness. It's, if it was any thicker than that, it'd start to look a little weird because they're proportioned pretty well, in case you couldn't tell. Horse about here on the bottom, I'm fine with that. Um, it maybe needs still a little bit of cleanup. Same with actually the mold line there, a little bit, but not too bad, which the mold line on these would be like really crappy to clean up. So I'm glad most of them don't need it. <laughs> um, I think it's interesting that there's like more shield up here. It's a very cool design like that to you know, piecemeal it up. And then of course the design is like freaking in game dungeon reward tier uh, gear this guy has. And he's just like a guard. So <laughs> they equip their cards well. All right, let's do this one. This one has Lord Darlgis, Dar, Dar, Darlgis, Dar, Darigis, Darigis. Sure, whatever. <laughs> All right, let's keep this ball rolling. Ooh, we got some fancy ones here. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Whew. So if you get the like sun dropped style version thing, I forget, sun dropped, I think they call them here. I forget what they call it here. Either way, um, you can kind of see what you're gonna get here. They've improved this a lot, I must say. It looks very good. Not super dirty or anything like that. Um, which again, when you get this heaviness use of it here, you start to worry. It looks like they hit it with a nice dry brush everywhere. Um, looks really, really nice. I'm not seeing really any tide marks, maybe a few like here and stuff on the floor, but honestly, with how the, at least the floor is, I think that's perfectly fine too. Um, looks really good. If, if I were to ever get these, I would still paint them. What I would do is I would just flash color into them, like give the, just make the cloak red or maybe just this part or, you know, a, a gold, you know, like just burst of color, kind of like, not unlike this, if that makes sense, like, like that, like the brightness parts, you know, it just flashes the color, I think would look awesome, but this looks good anyway, looks great. And as you can see, 
even in even in film, here's even a bigger mini, but you can see the details so much clearer, even in video like this. So when it's on the table, you can really see the difference. So that's a little fuzzy for you because I got it kind of tight on here, but uh, seriously, it looks great. Are they all like this? Ooh, these all are. Look at that. Oh, perfect. Look at this. I can give you a direct parallel. Here is the difference right here. So there you go. Look at that. Oh, that looks good to me. That looks freaking great. Again, there's so much detail on this that really helps bring it out. But I feel, I feel like that's the best right there. Just because you see that like three layers so much clearer, so much clearer, right? Especially like in here, like it gets a little, to my eyes at least, especially looking at it from as far away as I am, it's bigger for you. Um, it, it, it gets kind of muddy here, like right here. And so to be able to see the little tiny things there, to be able to see that clear symbol right here, that clear kind of sickle kind of look there, I mean, just great. Really, really good. Or the, or the fact that, look at this. Look, oh man, that looks good. Okay, really glad I got a one-to-one -one there. That's nice. Real, real, oh boy. Okay, see, I love this guy anyway. So, I mean, that's why I picked him to, look at that. Look at that. Oh man, that looks good. Um, I see a little bit, I think, of gray right here. We're kind of survived a little bit. It's been rubbed down. You can see that it looks like they prime it black. And then it looks like they add some oils and some dry brushes. And um, either way, it looks really, really good. You can see maybe a little, little bit more darkness here than perhaps is necessary. But I think in the end, it like look at that axe. Look at how much better it looks. The blade there, I think, it looks so much better. The fact that you can see the runes on the wood Again, if you're not planning on painting these, which I'm, I can understand, if nothing else, just from a time perspective, these will take some time for sure, but this is certainly the next best thing. This right here almost looks like self shading to me. Do you see that with like the black lining there, which is really the, the key here that I think it's doing. A lot of people do with paints too. There's the wood. So you can see how that wood kind of turns out. Looks great. Really, really well done. That looks awesome. All right, interesting color they chose too on it, but I dare it's like sepia. And then here is Alexander again with the bleeding heart. And of course, this looks fantastic. This one's perhaps a bit dirtier. Uh, you see this right here. Now I'm actually fine with that. Um, just from a, a looks perspective, I'm fine with cloaks and stuff being dirty. And there's so much stuff here that it's not like, oh, this should be super clean. Um, so it, for me, this doesn't like, oh my gosh, it looks bad. But um, there are little imperfections like that. Like you'll see that this is not highlighted probably as much as I would have liked. This is perhaps a bit darker than I would have liked. And there's some like kind of mess up there. And then they maybe could have highlighted this up more. I mean, again, it's personal taste. That's one of the nice things about painting is you get to decide what, how, you know, oh, I want this lit up this way or not. But just, just being able to see all these details is super helpful. Let's see what the last one is. That'll be kind of interesting to to see now. I didn't realize I was getting so much here, uh, variety wise. Ah, winter. Let's see how else we got here. Okay, we'll look this way. So we got winter. It's a tiefling, very cool. And Lord Gregor, who is a Lord Vampire dude. Plus some more. There's not just two minis in here. So let's see what we got here. Here is Winter with her guns. I think she's looking great here, actually. Did they improve this a lot? This seems like a much better mini than I remember it. Not that I remember her being bad. I just, I think this looks great. Uh, size of the chest is uh, still, I think, a much more fitting. You know, they always do these giant chests, but a lot of chests is just for like gold and stuff, and you don't need something really big. In fact, it'd be too heavy to carry. So that's kind of nice. A little bit of a plastic bump here, but nothing too bad. Inlay looks good. The texture on her clothes look good. The separation of her hand from her shoulder pad looks good here. I like that. Looks nice. Um, maybe a tiny bit of soft texture in there, but I still see texture, which is it's not super flat. A lot of times this would end up being flat. 
Horse spout right at the top of the shoulder blade is unfortunate. I don't, I forget what to call these. I call them poor spouts. I, I've been told the name like three times, but whatever. The separation of her knee to the like cushioned tops of her boots look great. That looks awesome. Same with like the separation of her leg there. See, again, if it slightly goes in, you get that nice, like, you know, acute angle to where it's not even a 90 degree. It's like a like an 80 or even a 70 degree, I think is awesome. Looks really, really good. Same with that. Look, look at that. Look at the separation there. It looks like a separate piece, but it's not. Really, really well done there. Um, I think the top of her is, I think this is glued in. But the fact that I only think that and don't know for sure shows to how well it's done. Really, really good. And these aren't too thick, which is nice. Yeah, a little thick, but not too thick. Looks great. And again, facial features, rock solid. All right. Oh man, another big one. Oh boy. Okay, I've shown him a few times now. So now you can see kind of the, the final thing here. Looking great. Looking awesome. Love how textured the bottom part is. I think that's great. It's easy to ignore that. The only thing that kind of fills out a little bit is this right here. You see that little like flat part right there? Just kind of see it right there, right here. It's like a really flat part. It's just kind of filled in because if you see even right here, a little bit of a fill in there. Just, I mean, just like the basic shape. It's way too smooth, right? Um, but, but again, that's okay. Like he, there's a little bit on this side too. It's like textured in there and then not really textured here. Some texture there I think would have been nice. It's like this like cloth thing. I think that's what they're going for there but it, it just looks to me to be too smooth. I'm gonna throw the mini and break it. Look, they can be thrown and not broken. At least this, I mean, this dude's solid. This dude's really solid. Um, so the line here is pretty much perfect. I mean, that's about as close as you can get when it comes to assembly. Very well done there, very well done. Really, really like how they did that. That's very good. Same here, look, look how nice that is. Like, I'm impressed by that, actually. I don't know how they got a factory to do that for them. That's, that's tough. Looks great. Inside of the mouth is slightly textured. I always like to check inside of a mouth. A lot of times they'll smooth it. It's a, that's how you know they're paying attention. I don't think I've seen this mini. This is a cool mini. I love the tassels. The tassels look awesome, like really, really good. And of course the fanned out thing here, again, it looks good. The Look at the like l work on the dress here. That looks awesome. Very, very cool. And then like her, her eyes are covered and everything. That's awesome. I don't think I've seen her. Well, she turned out good. Again, blade, not too fat, kind of right at the limit, I would say. Any fatter, and I might start complaining a little bit just because it's supposed to be a little tiny blade as opposed to like a, um, even, a even a sword like this, right? All right, I think we got one more here, guys. Last one, let's see, what do we got here? Aha, here's the Lord Gregory or whatever his name is. Again, I think he turns out great. Um, definitely looks confident, which I can appreciate that as well. Here he is. Both versions of him, so you can kind of see. Looks good. Looks good. I, I, again, this looks so much better. It really does. Like it, it doesn't quite beat a painted, but it's pretty darn close. And not only that, but you see the you can see the layers of like cloak that he has there compared to this, which they certainly filled out, but. Yeah, no, looks good. I love it. Looks great. Okay, well, that's it. I think that's enough. There's a lot here. So if you don't mind, I'm going to go admire these some more. Maybe even paint some. Maybe I'll paint the new lady. Maybe I'll paint her because she's cool. I haven't seen her painted before. But either way, thanks a lot. And uh, again, there is a link down below uh, to that will be prevalent for this. But, yeah, these are looking fantastic. I'm really excited for Storm Sunder here. All right, that's it. Thanks, guys. Bye. Oh, and just as an FYI, I'm going to be sending these plus the minis to my patrons as a, just kind of a thank you to them. I always like to reward them. If you would like to be a part of that to help support the channel and maybe even uh, be able to celebrate cool stuff like this with me, 
then there is a link down below to that, of course. I'm really excited to be able to send these. I know they're going to be ecstatic when they hear this in the video, but I'm happy to give back to them any way I can. So I uh, hope they enjoy some of these awesome minis, and I can't wait to see them uh, painting them very, very soon.